Okay, so good evening students. Uh, this is Dr. Dong, uh, the instructor of CSIT 547 uh, operating system. So um, as you know that due to the uh, COVID-19 pandemic, so uh, we are going to go, uh, go for a online instructions. And in my personal opinion, this is um, so so even though we, we did some, we do some sacrifice by not coming to cam campus, but actually, uh, this is a big favor to the whole society and also to our health. So, so and also, um, this semester, I, t uh, I also teach some other courses. And uh, one of the courses follows the, the uh, Hawk Mix modality, which means that it's basically a hybrid between, uh, of, it's a combination of face-to-face -face teaching and uh, online meetings. So when I uh before this uh the the beginning of the semester I did a survey, f uh, for all of the students and actually almost eighty five to to ninety percent of the students to choose to go for online completely. They don't even want to come to campus even though, I offer face to face classes. So yes, I think, uh, uh we 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 the the sacrifice from our side is is very small. But we we win, we will win big. Um, so um, so first, welcome to my class. And this is the first since this is the first week, and the university wants us wants wants the instruct instructors to have a soft start for the students. So I'm not going to go over a lot of materials, uh, but instead, um, in the first class, I'm I'm only I'm mainly going to. Uh, give you an overview about this course and uh, what what is my plan for this course and also I'm going to to let you know a little bit history about operating operating systems so before you come to this class uh, theoretically you should have already taken CSIT 545 which is the computer ar architecture class but I really thought uh, say say most of you uh, have taken it. Uh, I, I'm the GPC. If you if you are in the uh, applied IT or the uh, IT program, you, should, you, pro you probably know that I'm the GPC uh, of that program. So I will, So according to my experience with IT or applied IT students, most of them do not take 545. But that is absolutely fine because even though it, this is a pre <coughs> requested, I don't assume any knowledge from you. In a, in a hardware side, so <clears throat> so you don't have to take it, that course to, to be successful in this class, okay? So, uh, but I it will be good if you have some sorry if you have some some um, ability to program in C or C plus uh, plus, because in this class we're going to use some uh, say uh, uh, we are going to go over some some programs written in C. This is because most operating systems are written in that language for the purpose of efficiency. So you, I'm not going to require you to be able to, to uh, design a whole operating system, but it will be good for us to understand a very small part of the, uh, the code of, the, of, of our op operating system. So um, what can you learn from this course? Uh, so your, this course is not a very, Say is not going to talk a lot uh, about a lot about say say the the programming skills. No, it's more about theory and knowledge. So we're going to mainly learn the concept and design principles of operating systems, including the, um, for example, our processes and our CPU scheduling, our memory and our file systems. These are the main things that we're going to get in touch with. You don't have to be able to pro to 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 design a whole uh, CPU scheduling algorithm, but it, it it's good for you to know it because uh, sometime in your in your work you are going to use that, and also uh, uh, so we're going to have some homeworks, uh, some lab a uh, lab. I'm I'm still considering if if this I'm going to give a lab or not. Most likely I'm not going to give a lab because in. By lab, I mean there there should be some face-to-face -face interactions. It's really a programming lab, so I want to give you a good tutorial on and also answer the questions from you just face-to-face. -face. So since we don't have the opportunity of face-to-face -face teaching, uh, I probably I will just cancel it most likely, and also a final project. Okay, and um, 
So before going to more about the discourse, I would like to go over the syllabi that we have. So for this semester, uh, this course is going to follow the asynchronous online meetings. Uh, this, this is mainly because we uh, in this in this class we are going to have students from the like the uh, IT or or uh, master in IT or say master in cybersecurity and master in CS degrees. So these are just usual. Uh, these are just say. Um, normal degrees so so regular degrees and also we also have students from online master degrees which are the applied IT program the the students from applied IT students okay so these students are online and most of of them have a full-time job so it's very hard for them to come to to find to find a time so that all of us can meet at the same time online and besides the last semester, I also did a couple of uh, synchronous uh, meetings with the students uh, by using Zoom. Uh, the The experience is not very good for some students because of their their limit in the in the uh, the, the speed limit in their internet. Uh, so I know that most in, at least most international students to save the money to save the, the cost on rent, they they uh, just find roommates or flatmates. So so which means that the internet is shared and this can be probably um, this can cause some inconvenience for them so this is the reason why i choose to go for the across synchronous online meetings to provide you more flexibility so the way <coughs> that i'm going to, to 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 teach this course is to upload a video lecture every week on on uh, on youtube on my youtube channel so all of you can go go to that channel at, at your convenience and and go go over it okay and also we're going to have a uh, weekly uh i'm going to have a weekly uh, office hour from wednesday uh, at, on wednesday from 1 to 3 p.m via zoom okay so this is the link to the to the office hour o according to the policy of the of the university uh, f at least for this semester, there cannot be any, there there should not be any in-person uh, office hours. So all office hours have to be online. So here, yes, we're going to meet online. Um, so if you have any question, feel free to come to my office hour and ask ask that to me. Also, you can reach me through this email address, dongb at montclair.edu. Uh, so uh, I, I, I can almost guarantee that you'll be replied within uh, two days at least in most of of the time it's just one day okay and uh, okay so for our course you, we are going to use this textbook called uh, operating system concepts essentials the second edition so uh, it's not it's it is not necessary for you to obtain a hard uh, a hard copy of that but if you want feel free to do so uh, and uh, so if you do some some search if you do some google search probably you can find a free online pdf version of that of this book okay um so uh, let's go over the the other thing okay so so these are the uh, the student learning outcomes so we want to as as i told you before this course is mainly like in the introduction of the the concepts and design pattern behind modern operating systems. So, so I don't want to give you a lot of work. Okay. So, so uh, if you pay attention to my to my video lectures, that'll be it, it. Should be good enough for you to take to get a, a a decent grade from this course. And so, only add some some time. Only maybe twice or three times a week, I will assign some mandatory reading for you. If I assign mandatory reading tasks for you, it means that they are really important, at least for your exams and not 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 only for exams but also for your future job interviews. Okay, so uh, so uh, the, some some main concepts of our uh, of our course includes system call, includes the, uh, the process and thread, and also include data log, uh, interprocess communication and virtual memory okay and also file systems regarding the security and privacy issues i'm going to talk a little bit about them but 
if you are the uh, master in in cybersecurity students, you you'll be able to learn more from uh, like computer security, network security class. Okay, so so uh, this is not going to be the focus for our for our class. Uh, okay, so uh, here uh, is the uh, grading rubric. So. Uh, we are only going to have two homeworks throughout the whole semester, okay? And each homework, I, or just none of them are, just neither of them are programming, okay? So, so they're just wording questions. You only need to go over the book in order to be able to answer. Maybe only uh, you only need to go over the, uh, the the video lectures in order to to work out the solutions for the homeworks. And I thought each of them will take you more than two hours. And so, uh, and also we're going to have a midterm and final exam, okay? So, uh, and also we're going to have a final project. Okay, so, so um, this is the, the, the grading rubric. And here is our tentative schedule. So, uh, we're going to have 13 weeks of lectures. So, so uh, we, uh, this is the, uh, the, the, the tentative schedule. You can see that most of the, uh, at least before before midterm, the the main focus is on uh, is just per process, okay, and then after midterm we're going to go over something like memory and file systems, and so so bef uh, before the midterm and the final exam, I'm going I'm going to give you a a uh, prepared session to to help you. Uh, to know what are the most important um, items for to prepare uh, in order to get a good grade from the from the from the uh, the exam. Okay, so uh, this is the syllabi of the course, and uh, let's let me go back to the uh, to the slides. Okay, so so um, in order to be successful in this class, every week I'm going to recommend you to do some reading. Okay, but on uh, only like say two or three in two or three times of the semester, I'm going to 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 uh, assign you some mandatory reading, and each reading takes you about two or uh, two or three hours. Okay, so uh, and also in the class, I'm going to help you go over the 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 program. So so I will also provide the source code for you, and. Uh, so this is the grading rubric as I talked before, and this is our tentative schedule. So the most important thing in this class is to avoid mistakes. By mistakes, I mean, I really mean plagiarism, okay? So I'm, I'm really serious about this one, okay? If you are caught cheating, you, you'll get a zero automatically from this course. Not zero, it's a straight F, okay? So uh, I'm pretty serious about that. Okay, don't be silly. Even though you 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 submit nothing, you you still have the chance to pass this course. But if you just like take a copy of your friend's homework, it will lead to both of you and your friends into a F. Okay. Uh, so also you should submit to your homework online uh, on time. So uh, say say that if, if for each for each day for each for each late day you get ten percent late penalty, and also if you are submitted that if you submitted late for more than three days, you will get zero automatically. Okay, it will be zero automatically. And uh, but I'm pr pretty flexible with with say say extensions. If you really have a hard time. Uh, in your life and you need more time you, just, you you must let me know before the deadline okay you cannot say after the, the deadline you cannot send me an email saying professor can i get more time no way just just right before the uh the uh the, the due date you, you feel free to 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 ask for extensions send me send me a private email and and ask for for extension but in the email you should Include the reason you should a uh, explain a little bit of uh, why you need the extension. Okay, so um, so what I can do in order to help you to 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 be uh, to succeed in this class. So first, I will provide my office hours, and also during the video lectures, I'm going to provide you the the uh, detailed uh, explanations of the code, and also uh, I'm going to say say uh, say. Uh, uh, finish 
grading your homeworks within two weeks after the due date okay so so um and this is just a brief introduction of this class and now i'm ready to introduce what is the operating system so for for us if we are giving a computer if we are talk if we talk about computer most most of the time we talk about hardware like how fast is your cpu and say how large is your ram or how fast is your graphic card or gpu so these are the um or how large is the hard drive is there a uh say say uh uh is there a a a a, a separate uh say for example the uh uh hard state uh uh solid state hard drive or not or say uh if if you if previously you assemble a computer by yourself you, you probably know the concept of motherboard motherboard is is like the platform that holds on uh, that uh, that organizes all the other uh, hardware like CPU, RAM, GPU, and, and hard drive, and also power supply. Okay, so um, so this is one side of of computer that we talk about, and uh, the other side of the of the computer that we we talk about is like the applications or softwares. Say for example the browsers, or the or Spotify, or say say the Amazon, or the calculator, or for most important the games right so so um these are the are, are the other side of computers for regular users so for regular users what they can see is the hard drive the, the the hardware and and what they experience from our computer computers are just are just going uh, through the the uh the applications or softwares okay so but what there must be something in between, right? So, so for example, if the bottom layer is the hardware, and then if the top top level is the um, is the softwares or applications. So basically, there should be something, some some uh, something that organizes or coordinates these different hardwares in order to run these softwares and provide us the user the very good user experience right so so who does that task it is the operating system so basically operating system is like the up the, the duty of our operating system is just to coordinate the hardware in order to work for the softwares that we want so that's the definition of operating system in a very short uh, sense okay so again um this is the the view that we have so we have a computer can have many different users the this user these users can use this a single computer at the same time okay and um, so so then each of them run some application or softwares and then so at the bottom layer it is the 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 hardware okay the gpu the cpu and operating system is just the thing is the coordinator between them so which coordinates the, the the hardware to work for the softwares that we want to run so so this is the uh this is the definition of operating system in short actually if you google for the definition of of, of operating system there is no uniform definition but the, what you can find is just like probably around 12 different variations of the definition of the operating systems Unfortunately, each of them take uh, takes at least a whole paragraph. So I don't I don't require you to memorize that uh, the the very detailed definition. But you just need to know that operating system is just the coordinator that coordinates the the uh, the hardware to work for the software to run to execute the software that we want to run. Okay, so um, so then nowadays we have. Uh, different versions of operating system running on our laptops or desktops and running on these big servers. If you so, if you don't know what is server, just Google something called Amazon EC2. So, which is a very powerful like remote server uh, service, computing service provided by Amazon. And also, we have our operating systems running on smartphones. So the the reason why smartphone is smart is because of the software is run, 
are, are, are executing on them, right? So, so uh, um, the operating operating system on on, on say on the uh, some smartphones also coordinates this the, the hardware on our smartphones to work for the to to execute the the softwares or applications. So, uh, okay, and uh, let me say what else. I have okay so here uh, we don't so so far um, okay here um, from the from the user view of the operating system it is something like this it is the the UI when you the user interface that you see when you open your phone when you turn on your phone or turn on your, your your laptop but from the software view what is the operating system system if you go if you use Windows you just need to go to the task manager so this one tells you this application tells you what other applications are being executed by your computer, right? So, so this is the software uh, uh, view. Okay, <clears throat> for us, for our, for us, the programmers, because most of you are going to 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 do a IT related job in the future, right? So, so our task is to. We need to understand that. Okay, operating system is something in between them. Okay, so we the allocates hardware to to execute applications. Okay, so and this is the program view of it. So so when you see an application, when you see an application, so you should have the instinct to go to 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 of the curiosity to to find the source code of that. After you see the source source code, you should. You, so if you are very familiar with 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 say say uh, uh, operating system, you should probably know. Okay, so what kind of system calls does this piece of code call invoke in order to to run? Okay, so we're going to talk about system call next week. Um, so um, so from the 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 programmers. Side okay, operating system provides the fundamental low level instructions to control the hardware. So, because we are the programmer, we can invoke the very low level, uh, say, say, programming interfaces provided by our, by our op operating system and control it in whatever way we want. Okay, so how to how to say, 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 uh, explain that? For example, now, nowadays, we um. We know that there are two types of transmissions on cars, which are the uh, transmissions on cars. So which are the uh, manual and and automatic, right? So uh, for regular for regular uh, users or for regular drivers, they only need the automatic uh, automatic transmission because it's easier to use. It's just it's just a black box. You just need to press the 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 gas pedal and and then the the transmission is going to adjust the gear so to to provide a, a very smooth driving experience right so so okay so yes for for regular for for regular drivers this is what they need but if you are a professional driver if you are a professional driver like you drive for F1 team then you you definitely need to use manual manual transmission right because you you have the way to control the machine to control the whole mechanics to work for you, to work for you. Okay, you you know exactly w which which gear are you at, and so 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 you want to adjust it based based on your intention, right? Okay, so this is what what we talk about transmission. Similarly, if we talk, if we talk about operating systems, for regular users, they just want to use it in a bl like a black box. They don't want, they don't need to understand. The the uh say 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 the 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 detailed design of it. But if you are a um professional, uh, IT worker, okay, you should know the design under it, and you should be able to control it a little bit, okay. Just like, uh, turn on the uh, so 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 switch the the gear manually, okay. So um. Uh, so here. Uh, is a brief view of the the brief history of operating system. Okay, so so for uh, for ordinary users, for ordinary users, if you use if you use Linux for ordinary users, they just need to click on the different applications like browsers, Firefox, or go to Amazon to shopping. But for us, 
because we are the professional guys in terms of operating system we need to be able to use this application called terminal so terminal is like is like the um <clears throat> It's like the tool or the actual say say switch gear transmission gear that we can use to 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 say 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 uh so control the car by our, by ourselves so terminal is something like that okay so uh again so i'm going to to teach you how to use terminal later maybe in two weeks yes so uh this is a brief history of of uh different operating systems the most most the most important one, I have to say, uh, this is the most most important one because most of the users just use that. So this is the history of, of Windows. So we go through from uh, 1.0, 2.0, 3.0 until now. So now we have Windows 10, right? So uh, for the first uh, uh, version of Windows that I ever used was 95 uh, and so so I remember that there is something called DOS so DOS command uh, and then so so uh, when I was in my college like your age well so for the first time we we, we, we got a very uh, uh, for the first time we got a, a, a Windows version with very cool user interface that is the Vista okay that was during my my college time and now we have uh, after that we have seven and and eight and ten okay so this is the the development of of windows and um so if you look at this chart okay the global pc operating system uh market share uh you can say that windows almost take more than 90 um, more than 90 percent while um, mac takes seven percent the other two percent goes to uh, the operating system that IT professionals should use, which are the Unix-like systems. So this is the history of Unix-like systems. So here, um, uh, it, the history is pretty long, but for us, we need, we mainly need to pay attention to the open source versions, uh, So which are the BSD versions, okay? So, uh, so f starting from BSD, so, um, Actually, if you use if you use uh, a Mac OS, you should know that Mac OS is just a, a, a variation develops from the FreeBSD version. Okay, so uh, so Apple takes the kernel of the free FreeBSD version and they just uh, add some some like the the uh, user interface features and make it more attractive. And so so this is the. Um, uh and nowadays most most um uh linux like system unix like systems use this one B uh so based on uh so they're based on open bsd so for example ubuntu ubuntu is the most popular uh linux system because it provides better user interfaces and also it's free so um let me say what else okay so for us, for us, okay, for us, because we are IT professionals, it's like we are pretty much like professional car drivers. So it's okay if we use of use Windows. If we it's okay if you we prefer to use Windows. Like even like professional drivers, when they do not when they do not race, they they have the choice to uh, they they can have the choice to 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 use automatic transmission, right? Because they don't. It's more relaxing. They uh, so it does not need a lot of a lot of interactions or efforts from them. However, it will be a shame if a if a professional driver cannot drive a manual car, right? Similar here, okay. It will it it will be a shame if a IT professional cannot use a Linux-like system. By Linux-like system, I so most likely I mean Ubuntu or macOS. So mac os x so we should so we should have the ability to use them okay and also we should have the most important we should have the the ability to use the terminal of provided by these operating systems so uh uh okay the object of this class is that by the end of the, of this master i want everybody to be able to use the terminal and so at ease okay so so and lastly this is a personal my my personal opinion okay so um 
this is this is a very familiar uh, sorry famous sentence in a, in the world of computer science which is Microsoft is not evil they just make really crappy op operating system yes the uh, Microsoft is pretty or Windows is pretty much like a trans uh, a, a automatic transmission so so it provides the convenience but it sacrifices the the uh, say flexibility so um, yes this is a very famous picture uh, uh, so I think this was the release of Windows Vista or Win Windows 7 I don't remember exactly yes but at the time of the press con uh, pre uh, press conference uh, there was a bug with their operating system, which is really embarrassing for this guy Bill Gates, right? Okay, so um, So finally it is my suggestion. Okay, so at least you should be able to use Unix like systems because the Unix like systems systems are for IT professionals or developers so After this class in this week, I only ask you to do one thing Okay, if you don't have which is if you don't have a Unix like system environment on a computer, you need to in install one. Okay, so if you already have a Linux system, uh, maybe Ubuntu, maybe FreeBSD, or say uh, <coughs> CentOS, that is fine. Or, or also, if you have Mac OS, that is also fine. But if you use on only use Windows, if you use Windows 7, you should go for this one called Ubi. To to um, to to install a Ubuntu, or say if you use Windows 8 or 10, just follow this this link. This link is really awesome. So so uh, starting from starting from Windows 8, it pro uh, uh, it provides a, a an application for you to dual boost your boot your your system at ease. So just go go through this doc and follow it step by step. You should be able to install that. Okay, so Matt, so. Be, by, before next class, I want everybody to have access to to a win, uh, to a Unix like Unix like system. Okay, so uh, yes, this is the the video lecture for this week, and uh, uh, so so uh, so remember that I have opening uh, sorry I have office hours on on Wednesday. Okay, all right. Uh, see you next week.